Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Why did I sing that? <laughs> Whoa, that was so terrible. Like, why would I even? Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Zagiti, aka a black girl scientist. Welcome, particularly to you if you're new here. If you're new here, don't forget to click that subscribe button and welcome back if you are a returning subscriber. So we have hit and passed now the 2k subscribers mark and I just want to take this opportunity to say thank you so much to everybody that subscribed to my channel for sharing my channel with your aunties, your uncles, your cousins, your sisters and your brothers and I really appreciate it so much and the messages of support that I get on social media and of course the channel being helpful um, those really really warm my heart because that is the whole reason why I started this channel so thank you so much and don't forget if you're not already subscribed to click that subscribe button so this video at the end of this video I'm also going to be announcing how we're gonna be celebrating um, this 2k milestone so I will be announcing a giveaway at the end of this video um however today as the title shows i'm going to be talking to you about the top five reasons to do a phd so there are many many reasons um you know why you should do a phd if you're thinking of doing it and i think it's really important that if you're thinking of doing one you do your own research of course course there are many reasons why you should not do a PhD so I'm going to be covering the reasons why you should not in a different video but today I've really tried to summarize and of course there are more than five reasons um, but I've tried to summarize the top five reasons why you should do a PhD so if you're interested in this video keep watching okay so number one this one to me is a no-brainer you are passionate about research Doing a PhD is all about research, 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 research. So if you really hate doing research, you shouldn't be doing a PhD. Number one for me is you are passionate about doing research. Doing a PhD is all about, you know, identi identifying a problem or a gap in knowledge that's already out there and then trying to fill it. That's an all uh, fields of study not just specific to science so really a phd is novel research you know in doing that you um are answering a question that's never been answered before basically so number one passionate about research number two i really really like this one um because i always say to people that are even thinking of pursuing a bachelor of science degree is that just because you pursue a bachelor of science in a particular field of study it doesn't mean that you're going to be doing work in the future or going to be employed somewhere that focuses only on that specific study so number two is you should do a phd if you want to gain transferable skills um like i said this is something i preach all the time you know doing a phd you learn a plethora of skills you know you learn um research skills scientific writing skills presentation skills problem solving skills analytical skills you know there are many many skills that you learn um you know including soft skills as well that you apply really to any job that you would get in the future really that's what i love the most about you know research and particularly you know in doing any science kind of related subject although it's not limited to it but i'm going to speak obviously more on that because um you know that's what i have experience in so number three it's really you know, number three <laughs> which i think you know a lot of people think that you know when you do a phd you need to go this route but it's not really true but number three is that you want to pursue a career in academia so in you know if you want to go the academic route particularly i'd say a phd is almost a necessity it's really a career stepping stone in the field of academia you know you want to first of all have a competitive advantage be a uh, cut about the rest and you also really have a passion for further pursuing research you know in your own capacity and also you know under obviously uh, an academic institution as well as teaching i think that if you want to go through um the academia route you really need to be passionate about 
teaching as well. You're going to teach um, not only people that you supervise, but also students. You, you're, you're going to be responsible for teaching certain modules in undergraduate studies as well. So I really think that you need to be passionate about teaching as well. Otherwise, that aspect of the job, which I think is a large aspect, especially when you're starting out in ac academia, is the teaching part. You definitely need to be passionate about teaching. Number four um, is that you should do a PhD if you want to become an expert in the field. So I also really like this because, you know, not a lot of people do a PhD like how I've done it, which is just I, I haven't taken a break from school. You know, I went from undergrad, honors, master's, PhD, but some people do it later on in life. And when they've been in a specific industry or in a specific career or at a specific job and they really want to become an expert now in the kind of role that they play and the kind of industry that they are in and the knowledge you know that they have they want to become an expert so people do it as well when they're older um when they have more knowledge and experience and on a specific subject or in a specific field so that's number four reason why you should do a phd you want to become an expert in your field number five is that you actually want to have higher earning potential um so this one i i really don't want to get <laughs> um you know a lot of backlash about and stuff so hear me out first of all um because i know a lot of people think that you know you don't really need to get a phd especially if you don't want to go the acad academia route um and that you know you go into you may go into a position or a job being overqualified and things like that but you know having a phd or doing a phd really gives you a competitive advantage you know the unemployment rate in our country is extremely high and we have many thousands probably hundreds of thousands of graduates that are sitting at home they have degrees but they have no job it's really, really heartbreaking, you know, that there are so many graduates that are um, qualified or have skills, but they're just not getting the jobs. And that's because similarly to how you would enter university, when people apply for a job, you have, you know, a whole different plethora, basically, of people that apply. You have people that are underqualified for the job um you have people that meet all the job specs you know they have all the minimum requirements and more you have people that just meet the minimum requirements you have people that have no experience you have people that have some experience you know so it's really really um just a range of people that apply and it's really up to the company and you know up to yourself as well um applying for the job to really sell yourself and if you know that there's something that is you're lacking you know in the job you really need to convince you know your employers or your potential employers that you're going to be able to gain that skill within a flash you know companies don't want to be spending time or wasting time because that's money for them training you um etc and things like that so you can imagine that for example if you're applying for a job as a researcher and you have someone who just has an honest degree that's just been introduced to research versus someone that has a phd so you know that's pretty much um self-explanatory in that way and of course someone that has a phd in, in that particular role has more experience than someone with an honors and is also going to earn more. So that's what I mean with reason number five. It's not just because do a PhD if you want to earn more money. It's really specific to the role that you're applying for. But I also think in general, it may put you at a competitive advantage, you know, compared to others that are put, uh, applying for a job. And this is specifically, you know, in the science, in the science field or in the scientific research field. So yeah, that brings me to the end of talking about those top five reasons. As I said, um, it's not only limited to those. There are many, many other reasons as well. There's so many great things about doing a PhD. You know, you get to network, you get to travel. Um, I've already spoken about the skills that you gain, etc. You get paid as well. I feel like a lot of people think that, you know, just when you're studying, 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 you're really missing out on the point of earning you know as well but there are many scholarships that you have you know while you're furthering your studies i know that some people and even some companies encourage their employees to actually pursue a phd while they're in um, a particular role already in um 
you know, the working world or in a particular industry. So I hope that you enjoyed those and you learn from those. And anyone who's watching that's done a PhD, you know, please feel free to add in the comment section down below. And also, if you feel, you know, you're still not quite sure, feel free to reach out to me. My social media is always linked down below and leave me a comment as well down below. So now getting into the giveaway. So we have reached 2K subscribers. And as always, and I think all my giveaways on this channel are not going to be your typical kind of giveaways. You know, my channel, as you guys know, was created to motivate, inspire, um, really be impactful, you know, in young people's lives, especially. So this time in celebration of reaching 2K subscribers, I have decided to adopt two young women um, who are pursuing a career in STEM. So that's science, technology, engineering, or mathematics. I'm not going to limit this just to um, science specifically. So any career in STEM, you need to be registered at a tertiary institution for this degree. Um, and you need to actually be currently doing that. So the reason why I want to do this, you know, it's kind of the beginning of the Black Law Scientist um, on a larger scale, which is what we want to do is really support young people that are pursuing a career in STEM, you know, financially, emotionally, in any way possible, you know, really want to support them. So I'm going to adopt two young women. You have to be, uh, basically the requirements is that, you have to be South African. You have to reside in Durban because I reside in Durban. And I would love to meet these two young ladies in person and have a lunch date with them. You know, of course, where we exchange numbers and things like that. So you really will have direct access to me. We are able to help you with anything really that you're going um, through in your degree, whether it's you need help with practical reports you know tutorials applying for postgraduate study um funding um going for job interviews and things like that so i really just want to be kind of a buddy or a sister to these two people directly um yeah so the requirements please listen to these carefully because i'm going to be checking and it's really important so you have to be south african under the age of 25, registered for an undergraduate degree. So I won't be taking any postgraduates um, currently. An undergraduate degree in STEM. You have to reside in Durban. And yeah, I think those are all the requirements. So to enter, you need to tell me down below. You can tell me down, down below in the comments why I should choose you, um, what you're studying as well. And you have to be following me on Twitter as well as Instagram. And those are always linked down below. So that's how we're going to be celebrating 2K subscribers. So please go ahead and enter below. If you don't know, if it's not you that's watching this and you know someone, um, you can enter on their behalf as well. So yeah, I'm really, really excited and I can't wait to meet the two ladies. And yeah, I, I think now that we've surpassed the 1K, we can say road to 10K maybe, too ambitious. Um, <laughs> but thank you so much. And thank you so much for tuning into this video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you're not already subscribed. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.